Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will solve problem 5.24 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. The problem statement is the quality control department of a fabric finishing plant is studying the effect of several factors on the dyeing of cotton synthetic cloth used to manufacture men's shirt. There are three operators, so it's our first factor and then three cycle times and two temperatures. There are three uh, factors each having three levels, three level and two levels were selected and three small specimens of cloth were dyed under each set of conditions. The cloth, the finished cloth was compared to a standard and a numerical score was assigned and we assume in this case that the higher the numerical scale the good the quality will be. The results are as follows. Analyze the data and draw conclusions. Comment on model adequacy. So this is our data. There are three cycle times 40, 50 and 60 and operator has three levels 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There are two levels for the temperature 300 degree Celsius and 350 degree Celsius. Now we have to look at the number of replications. So we can see it here that at cycle time 40 operator 1 and temperature 300 we have performed three replications that are 23, 24 and 25. Likewise, at the cycle time of 40, we have again three replications. How we can see the operator 2, temperature 300, cycle time 40. I have three values 27, 28 and 26. So in this case, in this way, we have performed three replications for each of the treatment. Now, in order to put the data in the mini tab, we click on, we click on stat, then DOE, then factorial, create a factorial design. We have a general full factorial design with a number of factors 3 then click on design in which we will get the information just put the cycle time just uh, you can say type here C Y C L E cycle and then time and insert the number of levels then temperature 2 levels operator 3 levels we have this most important that how many replicates do you have so 3 replicates click OK then go to factors here you will have to select the type of the factor data we have. So for example, we have all of the data as numeric. For example, if we have the data like high, low, then we can select the other option like text. So in this way, we have name of the variables, then their types, level associated with each of the variable and their levels 40, 50, 60, 300, 350. I, have, I put the data already in order to save the time. How it's quite easy to put just like if I delete this data, so you can just write here 300 and then 350. So it's just like Excel. Click OK. In the option, I strongly recommend you people to uncheck this randomized runs. Click OK. Nothing to do with the results and click OK. So you will get such a window. In order to view only uh, the text, click on this window. So it will only save you data only. Now write here a new column and you will say score. Now. The most important thing is that how you will input the data of the scores here. So you can see it here. The cycle time is 40, 40 and it's 6 times 40. And in, in front of it, there is 3 times 100 and 3 times 350. And then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So if you uh, go to the data, you can see it here. Uh, set in front of the 40 and for 300, we have three values for the operator 1, 2, 3. For example, the first value 40. 301 the first value is 23 so right here 23 for the second value it's 40 302 40 300 temperature and operator 2 it's 27 like this then for third value 40 303 obviously it will be third value 40 303 it's 31 so in this way you will have to input this full row how you will know that you will know in this case that 4351, then 4352, 4353. So you will have to enter these three uh, numbers 24, 38, and 34. So 24, 38, and uh, 34. And then in this way, first of all, uh, just for the shortcut, we have input. Uh, we have to put, uh, input this first row followed by this first row of the uh, cycle time that is 50 how you will know that you can see it here it's uh, 50 301 the value is 36 so uh, in the mini tab uh, let me go to the mini tab here so uh, it will be uh, here it's 50 
301, then 50, 302, and 5303. So in this way, we will put uh, now uh, this, this row that has been highlighted by the yellow. Then when this row is completed, to save the time, you can see it here. I have input the data for all of them, 36, 34, 33, and 36, 34, 33, then 37, 34, 34. So it's then 37, 34, 34. So I have input the data for all of them. In this way we have a total of uh, 54 observations and you can see it here i have put the data for this yellow highlighted rows for this first row first row for the 50 and first row for the 60 then the green highlighted second row for the 40 second for the 50 and second row for the 60 then the third row for the 40 third row for the 50 and third row for the 60. still if you have any question you can contact me anytime after the data inputting is quite difficult for this these type of problems after that it's quite easy go to stat then doe factorial analyze factorial design click uh, here you know to select the name of the response then the most important thing is go to the graph here you will have to select four in one because you will satisfy your assumption using these graphs then go to the result here i strongly recommended you to go for the expanded table so you will get the percentage contribution of each parameter click ok and then click ok so you will get results click on this to view only the output first of all come down and look at these graph oh wow the graphs are perfectly uh, satisfying all of assumption the data these two graphs the first and the third these two are showing that data is perfectly normally distributed this second graph is showing that the the number of dots above this dashed line and below they are approximately equal it means that the, the uh, equality of the variance homogeneity of the variance assumption has been satisfied this fourth graph is showing that there is no specific pattern has been observed in this whole data so data is independent of each other after satisfying all of the assumption we can see this preto chart in the preto chart the factors who have passed this um, dashed line you can see they are a a c c a b b all of them are found to be significant and the same thing will be highlighted in the anova table further this 2.021 it's showing the cutoff value the f so you can see it here that all of the p values associated with the parameters like cycle time temperature operator they are less than 0.05 all of them are 0.000 so they are significant only there is one insignificant interaction term of the temperature and the operator is found to be insignificant having a p value of 0.194 however we will not drop this uh, interaction term why because over the highest level interaction term three way interaction term is found to be significant so we will not delete any of the term or will not drop any term from this model after that uh, we will go to the you know to make the graph for the main effect and the interaction effect so go to the stat then ANOVA main effect plot here select the in the response select this uh, response score then select uh, the, the, all of the factors at a time whether it, there are two three or four how much they are no issue then click ok so you got these main effect plots I, uh, I have made another video in order to make this graph very attractful that is available on my channel. And then uh, we will now have to select the levels that maximize over response because uh, in initially we have told that the higher the score, the better the, better the quality will be. So I got the highest score at a cycle time of 50, at a temperature of 350 and the operator number 2 because these are the highest points then after that we will go towards the interaction effect plot go to stat then ANOVA interaction plots in the interaction plot again select the response variable score now there you will have to select two factors at a time in order to view their graphs so I have selected temperature and operator when you will open there will be a blank uh, uh, tab like this so select on cycle time and temperature click ok so you will get the interaction plot here you can see that the interaction lines are crossing each other so it means that there is a strong interaction between the temperature and cycle time this is our second factor now the last thing go to stat then go to doe factorial the last thing is response optimizer here you will have to select your response variable that is score my goal is to maximize however there are other criteria also available
just uh, select the maximize nothing else to do click here ok and then i got the result this is multiple response prediction it's saying that a cycle time of 50 temperature 300 and operator this is this is the best one having a composite desirability of 0.875 so that's all for today